I was so sick or I was so weak, mm -hmm. I could not even wow. pray. At that time, the habit, the momentum, the, the motion of walking, of an active walk with God, as, as uh, you read about a train on the track, uh, keeps us moving in the right direction. And in those moments when we are so weak that we can't make it on our own, we can't consciously, personally put forth the extra effort to, to serve God, it sure pays to have some history that nudges us in the right direction. Right. Amen. Pastor Jim, that's where, as Bishop Ron had shared earlier, that's the role of the church then to help us all keep on that right track in our personal walk. Amen. We need a covering. You know, we have a lot of free agent people thinking, I'm a free thinker. I can touch, or go to this church, go to this other church. But the thing is, you need a covering for somebody praying for you. Someone helping and directing you if you're coming across difficult times. Because I, I just came from a, a friend of mine, uh, David uh, Rivera, that's just going through prostate surgery. You know, and I went out there and I was visiting and praying with him before. You need a covering of people that are going to going to surround you. Because yes. we're, we're all going to hit the skids. I remember three years ago, I went through prostate surgery. Three years ago, the, uh, November the 22nd. And I had... Friends, the body of Christ around me, they were praying with me. They were in the surgery with me. They, they went with me. You know, we need that covering. People praying for us when we can't pray for ourselves. Because right. sometimes you don't even know what to say. You say, I don't see you, Lord. Where are you? But he's there. He says, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. He is with you. But he also has given us the body of Christ to surround us. That's right. Before we run out of time here, and I want to share this with you, and then I'm going to have Bishop Ron and... Pastor Jim tell you more about their ministries. Floyd also writes, you cannot control the world. We cannot control the world or even various facets of your world, of your life. But what we can do is control the focus of our life. Amen. And I encourage you to spend at least one hour with God every day in prayer and listening to Jesus Christ as you develop that personal relationship with the Lord. Bishop Ram, share with the Viewers, what you do? Well, I supervise 26 churches throughout New Mexico and El Paso, Texas, and assist in helping to plant new churches, helping to uh, encourage evangelism and the Great Commission in all of the 26 churches. Uh, now, that's with the Church of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, um, I uh, help to appoint or select pastors for the local churches if there is pastoral change um, and do my best to affirm and, and strengthen the pastors who I hope, I, my, my intention is to help them be strong, healthy, growing pastors that will build churches like themselves, that will be growing, praying, healthy churches. And our whole goal is to serve God by reaching new people for the Lord. Now, to help people out at home, they may be confused a little bit because they hear Church of God and Church of God. Tell us where the Church of God is based that you are, are with, please. The specific organization that I'm with is based in Cleveland, Tennessee. And I'd like, if you will, let me comment about a comment that you made a few minutes ago. We had, had not at that point mentioned denomination. Mm -hmm. Denomination is a, a structure that is intended to assist the work of the kingdom Amen. Uh, and assist people in finding the Lord and, and getting to heaven. Um, not everybody wants to come to the church of God. Not everybody wants to go to any other individual church. And so we're happy if they'll serve God. Um, we strive to make our organization the best that we can possibly make it. We think it's pretty good, as a matter of fact. And Pastor Jim? Well, praise God. I, I thank the Lord for Bishop Ron Massell. He's been not only my covering, but he's also been a friend to me. And I, and I appreciate I need that relationship. I need to be affirmed. I need to affirm you, my brother. I need to affirm you, my brother. You know, this is what it takes, the body of Christ affirming each other. How many children need the affirmation of their parents? Like we, as we become adults, we don't have that affirmation. And the covering, you're affirmed. You're part of a body. You work together to accomplish God's purpose. As we mentioned here, the Great Commission. God has opened a door, and the Great Commission is going forth 
for all people. He's not willing that any should perish. And before we run out of time, <laughs> give us the location of your church, please. We're located in Los Lunas, which is south of Albuquerque at 11 Vigil Road. It's uh, the shortcut from Main Street to 47, El Cerro Loop for the local people, El Cerro Loop, and we're off to the side of the road. We have a huge old lighthouse on top of the church because that's the vision that we have out there. It has been prophesied that our church is going to be the lighthouse to the community. That light, of course, is Jesus Christ. Amen, yes. And Pastor Jim, you have a project, a building project. Oh, that is, yes. That uh, is pretty awesome. We're Tell excited about, about it. Yeah, we have, uh, it was, we got four acres of land. Can you imagine four acres of land right across from Walmart at the I-25 interchange across from Hunin, in the Hunin subdivision, across from Walmart? And so they're giving us four acres of land, and we have a building project. We call it the Ministry Center. <laughs> the Ministry Center. It's God's center to go reach out to, to the Isleta Pueblo, to Cerro Mision, Meadow Lake, the South Valley of Albuquerque, all of Los Lunas, Belen, with, for, the, for souls. We want to carry out the Great Commission for His honor and glory. So uh, on the screen as we go here uh, throughout the program, and then as we close the program, there's information put up there that Howard and... Steve, make sure that gets up there that you can contact uh, Pastor Jim and Toya there for more information uh, on the church there in Los Lunas. It's also my church, my wife and I. And we, we, we <laughs> really welcome you to come Amen. and worship there. And uh, Bishop Ron, thank you so much for being here. You do really well on a three or four hour notice, sir. <laughs> My pleasure, thanks for having me. And as people of God, we always gotta be right, uh, like firemen, don't we? Answer that call. <laughs> Absolutely. And you did that very well, Praise and we God. really appreciate Praise that very Lord. much. And we thank you for watching at home. Uh, give us your feedback. That information shows up on your screen. I'd love to hear from you. Amen. Radio Dewey at AOL.com. We would like to hear from you because we want to design this program for God and for you. Amen. We, we want this program to be of substance for you. Yes. This program is about you, Amen. God's people, to Amen. give you food. And we appreciate you tuning in tonight. And I pray, we all pray, that you will develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You also can catch us on KKIM Radio. We're there every day. We appreciate you tuning in. And once again, we really appreciate all the folks here at Channel 3. God bless you all.